What is up guys? This is part 3 of the beginner's tutorials on DaVinci Resolve. And today we're gonna do the audio volumes. So you will be able to play a little bit with the audio. This is not advanced, of course, this is the beginning. So we're gonna go into the edit tab and just check it out right now. So I have my video here, audio volume part 2, beginner. We are going to take two mp3 files and you might actually know those because I make them play during my videos. I think the second one is bird. Let's just have a little lesson just to see. And let's see the second one. So the first thing we see is we have audio one track and I'm gonna put them one over the other just for this video. And Look at here, on the right side we have the mixer that you can open up with this if you don't have it. And we're gonna also play with the inspector later. So if you don't have it, click on the inspector right here. So we're gonna take that second song and put it on the second track. And now in the mixer you can actually see boss one, audio one, audio two. As you can see my play ad is here on, well it's gonna play audio two because there's nothing on audio one. And you're gonna see if I hit play, I will lower the volume though for the monitoring. So let's go first and you can see that's pretty high. So you can have a visual representation of where is your sound is going and you can actually control tracks individually right here. So this is the master, you can play with it and audio two and double click on each to reset. So let's say I play, I see the levels, they are pretty much to the roof which is not awesome usually. If I lower the audio two, let's say like here, and I play, well, you can see that it's following. But because you don't touch the master, the master is really the master. So let's reset that. So first off, I'm gonna lower the volume of the entire track. Well, actually the entire MP3 or the clip or the audio clip. Be sure to click on your clip and go in the inspector in the audio. In here, well, you have the volume, so if you lower here and go higher here, you can actually see that I'm changing the volume here and the visual representation will also change. So look at that green bar here and you can see it's going up or should I say low, louder and quieter. Because this is usually audio in the background, I actually lower it a lot, but in this case I'm just going to go minus 10 and let's check out if we can hear it. All right, it's reasonable, let's say that for now. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one, minus 10, just so that when I show you the examples, it doesn't blast through your ears. And we're gonna zoom on those two. Let's listen to the end of the first one and the start of the other one. So there's a big gap here and it's kind of a silence, right? <laughs> so we're gonna do a fade in, fade out with those two. So exactly like videos, fade out and fade in. The difference is that actually you have a little dot in the middle that you can actually move around to have a curve depending which kind of intensity you want to go fade in, fade out. Same thing for this one. And it's very visual, so it's very useful. So I'm gonna move this one right here. So my 50% point will cut it out. And that should be not too bad. Let's listen to that. So in this example, it's pretty cool because there's no silence between those. And doing just that without the fade in, fade out would have sound a little bit weird, I guess. So fade in, fade out, that could be 90% of what you're doing, so end of the video. No, there's something else. Let's say you want to actually lower only a part of the song. How would you do that? And you don't want to cut the clip because you can do cutting and then changing the sound here and you can do all that. But we want to lower only a part. So let's go over here. Let's listen to this. So let's say I want a specific part because I have a sound effect, for example, or something else that I want to accentuate. We can, of course, grab the bar here and lower everything, but that's, that's everything. We don't want everything. We only want a small portion. So we're gonna put our finger on Alt and click. So that's gonna insert a dot. We're gonna add another one so we can lower and get higher with a part of the audio. 
and that's gonna make Axel a, a transition period. So watch for your ears. So you can see this is going very high very quickly. So we're gonna do the opposite actually. I'm gonna go lower and I'm gonna put another one and I'm gonna go higher after. So this section in the center will be like a transition where you put a audio or something. So let's go play. And that's very smooth. And you can do this all in the edit page. Subscribe and hit the like button. And of course, as usual, stay safe and take care.